What is up everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be about Planner5D.com, which is a web-based application. Uh, that The app is available for Android and iPhone as well. And before I explain what is Planner5D, I just want to say thank you so much for liking AutoCAD and Revit tutorials. I've been getting a lot of response, so thank you so much for that. So one of you guys watching my AutoCAD tutorial asked me a question that if there is any web application available which can be used to draw a really basic 2D or 3D model for a house. So Planner 5D is pretty good for that. I just recently came to know about that application and I uh, just want to show you guys how to use that in this video. And uh, let's go to my computer and we will learn how to use Planner 5D. Alright guys, so now we are at planner5d.com. This is the website you want to open and here you will see create a project option. We can create a project in a web app, but there is an app for App Store and Google Play and Windows as well. So if you are using Apple iPhone or Android phone, you can download this application on the mobile as well. But uh, we're going to create a new project. Just simply click on create a project and then you will have three options here. If you have used this previously, it will see my projects option. And there are a few templates as well. So I'm just going to click on template and here we have a few templates here. So let's go back and we are going to start from scratch. So let's just select that option. I'm going to click OK. Let's just get rid of uh, these startup tips. Now this is the application you will see. Let me show you how you can move around to this application. So if you click on empty spread with left mouse key, click, then you can move around to your workspace. All right. So if I want to zoom out, I can use the mouse wheel to slide down to zoom out and slide up to zoom in. All right. So this is a very basic how to move in your working area. Now on the left, we have this panel which has a few items such as this making this wall making this wall this side of wall and we have a box here so these are the few items you have available let's go to the home tab and then here we have windows arcs rooms uh sorry roofs doors partition stairs and all those uh, generic things what we need to put in the house next we have some furniture stuff all of these are available here we have some exterior stuff such as pool lighting rest and all that stuff now we are going to look at a few things first let me just show you the right menu here so if you click here you will have this menu where you can open a file start a new project save a file look at it in 3d print a file add a ruler zoom in zoom out and so on all right so now i'm just gonna select that room here and i'm just going to get rid of it now we don't have anything in our workspace let's select that block of room and just drag it here all right so we have that now i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and bring that in the center now just select that now once you select that room you will have a few options here such as this option let me just click on that which gives you some materials for that option and if i just want to go back i'll select here if you want to duplicate this room you can do that as well Next, you want to get rid of it, just simply click on this uh, bucket or you can press the delete key as well. But what if I click on the wall? So this is a wall. So once I click on that, I get a few more options here. So this is a vertex option. This is uh, an option if I don't want to see that wall. And now let's select one wall and I just want to increase the size of the room. Now we'll select this wall and I'm just going to basically just drag that somewhat here let me just zoom out uh, if you want to sign up you can sign up here but i'm just going to cancel that let's just zoom out a little bit okay so now i've selected that rectangle and it will snap by grid so the grid is on in this app so let's just make it bigger so about that all right we're going to select this vertex and i'm just going to drag that as you can see there's a lot of similar similarities with a rabbit now we can just select the whole line. I'm just going to move the line down. Okay, so you can move the vertex. You can move the line as well. Now this is our, let's say, let's assume this is our house area. But there's a lot you could do. But this is our, let's say, house area. 
let's just make it a little bit more bigger I can make it a bit of a rectangular shape now in that we are going to add some rooms now so let's just select a simple room again I'm just gonna select it and I'm just gonna drop that and I'm gonna try to snap that at the corner let's just try it to select it select the whole lot and then try to snap that okay that's been snapped as well now we can increase the size for that let's just select this line bring it down somewhat here I'll show you how to set up dimension as well the dimension you can see at the bottom and here we have your options at the bottom if you want to bring that back or forward or if you want to take this room to backwards so you can do that as well so let's just select this line and just move it like this okay so we have one room now and now we are going to create another room so let me just select the box again try snapping it with this wall okay and we have this make sure you zoom in and make sure you try to move this little bit yeah, now it's been snapped properly oops i moved it accidentally so let's just bring it back yep that's been done and this is going to be the toilet for that room i just want to make it a little bit more bigger here okay so we got that now and then we need to do something here i just want to make our garage here so what we can do for that i am going to select another box okay another box and just gonna drop it at the bottom here okay let's just uh, go up here and let's just try snapping it with the corner here okay so once you snap that you just adjust the size of the garage let's just uh, make it a little bit let's say something like that okay and uh, maybe that's fine uh, I'm not sure but because I'm not following the dimensions right now but you can do that all right so once you've done that now what I want to do I want to select this line okay and I just want to select this line and I just want to right click which give me this option and I'm just going to uncheck that now let's just select this line which is the outer wall for our boundary as you can see I've selected that okay let's just select this line and I'm just going to add a vertex by using that middle command which added the vertex here so let's just move the vertex and snap it here it's going to keep asking me to sign up but I'm just not going to do it all right so we have this line separated from this line now I'm just going to cancel that as well all right cool now we have uh, done outside boundary now and I think this is the time for us to uh, look look at it in 3d so to look at it in 3d you simply click on this 3d button and there you go so you got the uh, just gonna zoom out okay so we got that garage something like garage we got two rooms at the back and we have this uh, dining area I will just make another room somewhere here okay maybe we copy this room and we'll just drop that there and we make this one attached part and one just a room okay and then we made the one toilet outside so we have this now all right so this is going to be our something like kitchen area so for the kitchen area I'm just going to first let's just make a room here so we're going to make a room I'm going to use this and I'm just going to drop it here okay and let's just zoom in and then let's try and make it bigger I have no idea about dimension guys so that could be wrong but uh, just bear with me we are going to try snapping it and should be fine now so we have this room and we have this toilet let's just make it a little bit up here make it this we can make some uh, dressing area here so let's just move it here okay and uh, then what I want to do here I just want to make a little bit more designing here let's just select this line okay and we're gonna add a vertex here so this is the vertex we have I'm just going to actually get rid of this line we don't need that so I'm just gonna try snapping it back let's just select this line and oops why oh, it's just keep falling apart 
zoom in, try snapping it. Yep, that's fine. Now we have. Okay, so this is the line. Now with that line, we have this vertex. I'm just gonna bring it about here. Now I'm gonna select this line again, and we're gonna add another vertex here. Where did my drawing gone? I have no idea. Yep, it's here. Let's just add another vertex here. So let's just add something. We can do a little bit of designing here. Yep. Okay. All right. So this is quite a big, big area, and uh, yep. Now we're gonna make another room here. Let's just drop that here. Let's try snapping it with here. I'm just gonna grab this line, and we actually drag this line first to the left somewhere to the left okay and then we're gonna get rid of this line right click get rid of it all right so we have this line we are going to basically just uh, get rid of this line as well we don't need that uh, actually actually we actually needed that so I'm just gonna go here click on undo okay and then actually select the actually i'm just gonna get rid of the whole lot oops let's just click on undo and select this room here let's just get rid of these as well okay uh this is actually giving us error so what i can do here i can just drag another one i'm just gonna try snapping it first somewhere here and select this line drag it all the way to the left and try snapping it okay now let's just select it let's just get rid of it now we got the wall done there and we can just uh, move this wall somewhere here it's fine that's gonna be a room for us so I'm just gonna zoom in and let's just find where is the wall gone okay it's there Okay, let's just because it just keeps selecting the wrong item, so you gotta make sure that you select the right one. I'm just gonna select this line, and now we pretty much uh, okay for our stuff. Stuff okay, let's look at it in 3D. Let's click on 3D now, and then okay, so we got the garage, we got this some kind of design here. Now it's time for us to populate some stuff in it. First of all, let's do a stair. So let's just go back to 2D. Let's just move in. And then we are going to go to home, click on stairs. Uh, these are the paid ones that you can use, but uh, we have the free one as well. So I'm just going to use that. Okay. And then we're going to uh, rotate that to somewhere here. Okay, let's just select it move it uh, somewhere here let's just zoom in try selecting it again and try snapping it yep that's fine now the stairs are done we have to just move them a little bit okay let's select it and there's a few options that you could choose check it out uh, that's not gonna make any difference okay so we have a uh, done our stairs we have done that now let's check out what are the available things in the kitchen so in the furniture stuff for the kitchen let's select the kitchen and cabinets and there should be some free ones so we will just select the, this cabinet we take it there or maybe we can just make a room there why can't we just make a room there but we're just gonna zoom in to the kitchen area and then we are going to find some okay we have the one cabinet here i'm just going to move it somewhere try snapping it to the wall let's just go back and kitchen set oh uh, there is no uh, kitchen set for free so you guys have all of these already been made so if you want to buy them you can buy them but uh, it's very simple to use them Okay, so we have the TV area. This is the free TV. We can just pop it in wherever we want. And uh, then if you want to rotate it, let's say select the TV again. 
and if you want to rotate it you can rotate it with this and you can flip it with this as well you want to get rid of it get rid of it i think i'll try to explain pretty much whatever you guys need to work with this app such as if you have a garage there should be one free car so we just take the car we pop it in here okay uh, i just want to show you one door so let's go back to construction area let's just select the doors and entry door let's just select this free one and just drop it there i'm just going to oops. okay let's just select it uh, now we need to flip it flip it uh that's fine okay if i just move this down it's tr gonna try snap it okay now it's been snapped and then i'm just gonna show you the last thing oops i've done something wrong here so if i show you one last thing that is a window let's just go back and select the window i'll maybe select this one this is a pretty big thing so that's done and that's done as well all right and we just drop one window here as well but it's just time consuming i just want don't want to make this uh video long so that is what i'm just going to finish soon and you can try it out there's a lot of things here that you could do so kitchen wares musical instruments pretty much everything you need in the house would be available such as washing machine there stand all that stuff is here so this is um it last time i'm going to show you how to how to, or how our plan looks in the 3d okay so in the 3d we have the stairs there which are not really good so i'm just gonna flip them flipping is done it's still rendering so if i zoom in now i have the windows there i have the entry door i just want to try zooming in okay oops there's the entry door guys and uh yeah so you can move with the w a s d as well on the keyboard this is a really good shortcut i just find out that w s a d to move okay so you could actually move with that but uh this is it and uh pretty cool app try it out it's not sponsored video they're not paying me to show you guys this but this is really good so if you want to try it out try it out this is really good and then one more thing i want to show you guys here the floor ones okay so you can add more floors so if you are done with one floor you can add more four floors to it i'll do a separate video on uh, this app on the mobile um i think i like that a lot so yeah that's it give it a try try it out and if you like it let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and uh, i'll be back with the next video don't forget to subscribe and Talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.